Okay, hey, this week's video is going to be a quick short one. I'm going to show something that I don't think is really being used uh, enough within ZBrush, and it's a cool little tool that might be able to solve some problems when you run into it. So I have just a poly uh, sphere here that I've created a uh, poly mesh. It has four subdivision levels. So um, we're dealing with uh, right around a 524,000 polygon. Okay, so what we're going to do is here, we're just going to use the pinch brush really quick on this. Uh, let me grab my pinch brush here. And let's create a couple strokes within this pinch brush here on this sphere. So, and then we got that. And if you ever notice when you especially use something like the pinch brush, what happens to your topology? Um, if you notice, it starts to mush as well, obviously. And it becomes difficult if I want to add details, say, in between here, these two pinches. I don't have enough polygons there to add that detail. Um, another thing that you'll find, let me switch to the standard brush. Uh, let me see my standard brush. And let's just create a little hole really quick here in this sphere. And give it a little ridge. And then let's use the pinch brush again on that, on the ridge. Just give it a little more definition here and make it a harder edge. So again, see so you, you start losing your poly um, being meshed in, obviously, and that's what the pinch brush is supposed to do. But a great little trick that we have um, within your geometry palette that people are not using is if you drop down a couple subdivision levels, and then you go ahead and you smooth out this mesh along here. So really quickly, let me just smooth this out a little bit. And let's smooth out these strokes. And in here, and strokes in here, and strokes in here. So I've lost a lot of that detail, right? But what I can do is if I hit the reproject higher subdivision level, ZBrush is now going to take what was on level four and it's going to project that into another new level four. And as you see, I'm back on subdivision level four with that detail with my pinches in that hole with the pinch being used with a little crevice, but if I turn on my frame, as you can see my topology now has a lot more polys now, especially in this middle section right here, where now I can go in and add any bit of detail that I might want to add in here that I was not able to do using the pinch brush before or using anything else. So once again, a great useful tool, might be able to solve some problems um, under your reproject higher subdivision level. The key things to remember is drop to about down two subdivision levels, smooth out where you're having um, geometry pinching or collapsing, and then hit your reproject higher subdivision levels. This might not solve all the issues that you could run into, but it will definitely help with some certain situations.